taking a look at Mission Model paints today. This is a new line of paints that just came in and it's a really nice line of paints. The color chart here shows you that there's a myriad of colors. There's a lot of great federal standard colors, German RAL colors, metallics, tints, just all kinds of great colors. And Mission Model paints are water-based paints and I'll read it right off the jar here. It says these are permanent water-based paints work on plastic resin and metal and they come in one ounce jars and it's really really nice refined organic pigment it's a really strong pigmented paint the colors are really vibrant which is really impressive and I also have a primer the Mission Models primer and I have thinner and a polyurethane additive now um, the thing you have to keep in mind with Mission Models is that you need to mix the paints according to their recommendations. In other words, thin them properly. Okay. So, let's take a look at Mission Models paints. It's a great product. It's made here in the U.S. I have no problems getting it, stocking it. Um, it's never really out of stock. It's a really great product. So, let's shoot some primer on a piece that I have sitting over here. I have a tank model. We're going to shoot primer on it, see how that goes on, and then put some color on it. So, let's take a look at Mission Model Paints. I'm going to mix, when I have my thinner here, this is the thinner, it's a reducer thinner. I'm going to mix, I think, 20 drops of this because I've got a big tank to paint, which means I'm going to put in 6 to 8 drops of thinner, okay, so 30, 40%. So we'll sit here and I, I use these little plastic cups. We'll count off the drops. One, two, three. Okay, so that's 20 drops of paint. And I like to, since the thinner's a lot thinner, I use eyedropper so I get an exact more exact mix. So I'm going to put in six drops of thinner. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll tell you what, we'll go seven. It's right in between 30 and 40 percent. And once you've got your thinner and your paint in the cup, just take a brush and mix it up. See what I'm doing there. Just going to mix up the thinner. Make sure I got it thoroughly mixed. And the thinner, according to the literature, activates the primer. So, we've mixed up the primer, and now we're gonna shoot it onto the tank. All right, so now, piece is all primed up. We use the Mission Models primer. We mix 30 to 40 percent reducer or thinner into the primer. Shot it onto the tank parts. I put it back together. You can see it's really, really nice. This primer goes on really super smooth. Even if it gets a little thick in areas, it shrinks down as it dries. It's very durable. Really good durable finish. So now we'll move on and check out the Mission Model paint, the actual colors. And this time we'll use the reducer and it'll be 20 to 30 percent thinner into the paint and we're also going to use the polyurethane coat which is 20 to 30 percent mixed into the paint so we're going to do olive drab and then I have a couple other olive colors for dark shade and highlight if we get that far so let's take a look at mixing mission models colors
Let's take some of the Mission Models paint and brush it on by hand. I've got my brushes here. The instructions say that if you mix polyurethane with the regular paint, it slows the drying time down, which is a good thing for figure painters. So let's check out brushing on Mission Models. This is a dark tan. I'm just going to use some of these Master Box figures and just put a little bit of paint on them. I use these metal mixing cups when I hand paint. These are AK. They're modeling paint wells. Buy a dozen of them cheap and they come in really handy. So, a few drops of paint. We'll put a drop or two of poly in here. Put two in. And then we'll keep a little thinner on the side in case. So I'm going to mix the poly into this paint. I'll probably mix a little thinner too if I want to do glazes or make this a thinner wash of paint. So let's see how it goes on the figure. I'll just take one of these M Ma Masterbox 35th scale figures, take a little bit of the paint, get what you want. We'll do this quickly. And it goes on nicely with a brush. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm painting in his arm and it's going on like a nice glaze, settling down into the recess areas, leaving the highlights a lighter color. So Mission Model Paints brushes on nicely with the polyurethane mixed in. And I'm sure if you mix the thinner in, it would do the same. So, good for brush painting. So what are my impressions of Mission Model paints? I think Mission Model's paints are a really high quality product. Um, it's very versatile. It really isn't that hard to use. I mean, basically you have to just use the mixing ratios they give you, which are for the primer, 30 to 40% thinner, no polyurethane in the primer. And as far as spraying the paint goes, 20 to 30 percent thinner, 20 to 30 percent polyurethane, and mix it together. And that's one of the secrets to this paint, I think, is to make sure, and I like to use these plastic cups, as I say, these little NyQuil type cups. And I use, you know, old brushes, and I just make sure I mix and mix and mix that paint until I make sure the polyurethane and the thinner are really mixed up well with the color. And then I put it in my airbrush and I spray it away and I'm really impressed with the quality of the finish. The primer went on glass smooth. Um, the paint itself, I went over one heavy coat, let it dry, and then about a half hour later, I put a second light coat on to cover up any you know light spots. And this is a really, really nicely done, nice finish on this paint. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. And I'm also impressed with the color selection. The color selection of these paints is just incredible and it's all the really primary modeling colors. In other words, they skipped I think a lot of the colors that don't get used hardly at all, but all the real good stuff, all the federal standard colors and the German RLMs and, and all the British colors, everything is there, plus car colors, glosses, and it's a really strong pigment. The opacity of this paint is really strong. In other words, if I spray it over a dark surface, it comes up nicely, even yellows and whites, they show up nice. Um, I did a lot of pin lining with it. Um, I think that you have to keep in mind to use your heavier duty tips and nozzles because it's a heavy paint, it's a thicker paint, and that's because it's a high quality paint. So, Mission Models, I brushed it on, I thinned it down with a little polyurethane, I could thin it with the thinner and put it on some figures, it brushed on really nicely. And the other thing that I keep saying about this paint is, this comes from the United States. In other words, this is a domestic product. So we've got it all here and it's just there's tons of it and it's easy to get. In other words, you know, if you're a dealer especially and you want to keep this paint stock, it's easy. It's here. We get it all the time. So if you want a paint that you know is going to be in stock that's really high quality, it's a water-based paint so it's non-toxic, sprays beautifully, Mission Model Paints, I can't recommend this enough. I, this is one of my new favorite products here. I had such a good time spraying this. So try it out, get it in your stores. I mean, this is really good stuff.